Okay, so back in the garage garden, I went to Lowe's and I bought a 10 pack of strawberries that they have already. <clears throat> and uh, opened up the pack, dumped out the soil, rinsed off as much of the soil as I could, cut away some of the dead and old growth roots and leaves up at the top and any of the roots that really just look bad and not all of them but most of them and I have these rock wool cubes and um, what I'm doing is I'm trimming the rock wool cubes after I soaked them I'm trimming them and I'm planting the strawberries into the rock wool cubes and I'm trimming them to fit into the three inch net cups and what I'm going to do is I'm going to water these you know every so every few days or whatever when they feel dry and I want to try to air prune the roots to see if it, you know the roots take and um, try to give it the best root base possible before I you know put it into a really strong nutrient solution um, that's pretty much what I did with my tomato plants and uh, my peppers and my basil and all this other stuff that's up here um, as I did a little air pruning and um, I, air pruning is when you allow the roots to come out to the edge the, the roots will come out to the edge of the uh, grow cube and as soon as they hit the air um, the plant will actually die back the root a little bit and then start new roots out of the stem um, and it'll give it a much stronger root base rather than just like one root running down and then you know if something happens to that root the plant will be more vulnerable so giving this a shot see what happens if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't um, I've killed all my other strawberry plants that I did have growing which wasn't that many um, but I think I got some root rot and some spider mites and they were damaged beyond my you know repair ability all right so when I'm cutting these rock wool cubes to fit into the net cups it's not rocket science it's basically just if I can do this with one hand which I probably cannot which is fine I had already cut the other three sides with the really razor blade so I'm just taking off the corners like this cutting on a little bit of an angle to create a pitch for the bottom of the net cup and then I'm going back and trimming the opposite corners on an angle for the net cup. So now, take the net cup, it fits in there. What I'm also doing is for the roots, trimming down. the center and then coring out a little bit in the middle so that I can get the roots down in there if they're long enough and give them a little bit of space without pinching them I'm pulling the bulb of the strawberry plant up so that it will not be inside the rock wool then I'm sliding this in and all these pieces that I've cut off I'm just breaking them up and tucking them in around the plant but not 
tight because I don't want to, to close in the fibrous pores of the uh, rock wool. Otherwise, the roots may not develop around there. So, just fill it in without getting carried away. I don't want huge gaping voids around the plant, but I don't want it tight. So, there. Now, I have 10 strawberry plants planted in rock wool in three inch net cups and we will see what develops.